Lynn Loudermilk here, the Practicing Crafter. Today, we are going to continue our series about creating a Dino Ranch themed birthday party for a toddler. We will review three activities that you can do at home that are easy to replicate and very DIY. So they aren't going to cost you a ton of money. First, a dino egg toss game. Second, a paint your own dino egg area. And third, a dino dig. Check the description for a complete supply list and any possible discount codes that I may have available. Let's get started creating a dino egg toss game. We will need something to toss and something to catch. Our something to toss will be a dino egg and our something to catch will be a nest. Since they are dino eggs and one would think that they should be larger, I chose to use a three and a half inch plastic egg in various colors. I am using the Apple Barrel multi-surface paint pens to decorate these eggs. If your plastic eggs are separate, start by putting those together. For the egg toss, I only needed about five of those eggs. We will use the remainder for a paint your own dino egg activity. Now just use your imagination to design your dino eggs. Draw out shapes of various sizes, fill them in, outline them with another color, add random dots. I like adding designs over the seams and using three or four colors. Once finished, I added about a quarter of a cup of rice to each of the eggs. You could also use dried beans or corn, dried corn, <laughs> then added glue to the inner rim of the eggs and I put them back together. Now when doing this, you want to make sure you line your designs back up. For this, I did use Gorilla Glue. Now that we have our something to toss, let's find something to catch. For our dino toss game, I have my eggs. I actually ended up doing five of these for this game, saving the rest for the paint your dino egg. And I uh, actually still had a few left over to use for Easter treats. So the toss game, I did go around my house once again to see what I had that may work. And I ended up with three shallow baskets. So I've got one, two, and then there was actually a large one. So that worked out really well. So I just lined all three of these up from nearest to farthest, filled them with their nesting material, which was just this crinkly paper, like this. Then they could just toss their egg in. Now, if you didn't have three baskets at all laying around your house, you could totally use, you know, some trays, um, maybe something like that, some little plastic bins. Let's see, what else might you do? Oh, or you might go to your local thrift store or Goodwill and check the basket area. I know all of these places seem to always have an abundance of baskets. You could probably find something pretty inexpensive there. I have a total of $3.54 in this toss game which is pretty good. The only thing that I did have to purchase were the eggs and they did come in a larger pack and based on a per egg price, it came out to $3.54. Always look around your house to see what you already have to work with. Now, if you don't have the Apple Barrel paint pens, which are great, they are multi-surface, they work on almost absolutely everything. But I think that they retail at Plaid Online for around, I don't know, $17, $18. And 
if that is something that you would like to add to your crafting stash, then I do have a coupon code included in the description of this video that you can take advantage of. For each child, at their place setting, I had a styrofoam tray. These are just, you know, from where we have purchased meat at the market. I usually just wash them off and use them for various crafts. They work great as a paint tray, as a place just to keep things um, gathered if you're working with something that's tiny. So these do come in pretty handy if you want to if you want to save those from your recycling bin. Each child had an egg at their spot. So everyone had their own paint tray to use. And these paint trays are very inexpensive. I got these at the Dollar Tree and I believe it was three to a pack for $1.25. A cup that was filled halfway with water. You never want to fill a toddler's cup all the way up. Just keep it about, you know, a quarter to a, to a half. That way if something does happen, you know, maybe it's not quite as bad as it could have been. A paper towel. So that is what they had at their station. I put out a bunch of paintbrushes in various sizes and textures uh, for them to be able to choose what paintbrushes that they wanted to use. Some inexpensive acrylic paints for the kids to use to paint their eggs. And I had blues, greens, reds, pinks, purples, and all of these, over time, I have just picked up at the Dollar Tree. And, you know, they're $1.25. They come in a nice, it's a nice, generous bottle of paint. And it works great for anything that you're doing with your children or the younger set. So, that was everything that I set up for them at their place and in the middle of the table. And that activity went over very, very well. All of the kids got all of their eggs painted. I had a drying station set up so that we just put everything to the side, higher up, and those eggs were able to just sit there and dry without any interruption. For this project, we are going to create an activity combined with our thank you party favors. The total cost to put this activity together, including a take-home bag, came in at just under $9 per child. I wanted something easy to put together, easy to clean up, and something that would provide just a few minutes of enjoyment as the kids searched for their goodies. A dino dig would fit right in, but I didn't want to use dirt so I opted to use crinkle cut craft paper in a few different colors and deep aluminum pans for the vessels. These were filled with various items that I picked up and you can find the complete list in the description. A few items included dinosaur tattoos, stand up dinosaur figures, dynamite eggs, and a grow your own dinosaur egg. Small plain gift bags were provided to make it easy for everyone to take home their gifts. As it so happened, it ended up being a beautiful day. And as a last minute item, I had purchased some punch balloons, uh, dinosaur punch balloons from Amazon and we handed those out to the children as they were on their way outside to play on the swing set. The punch balloons were a huge hit with that age group. So I would totally recommend if you have three-year-olds and you are wanting to give them something fun to play with uh, to keep them busy for a few minutes, punch balloons are a given. If you have other ideas to share for this Dino Ranch birthday party, especially where it pertains to activities, 
Please share those in the comments so that we can all benefit from those. And please give me a thumbs up if you plan to use any of these ideas or if it gave you another idea. And if you are planning a Dino Ranch birthday party, be sure to check out next week's video, which will be about decorations. Thanks for joining me and have a great day. Bye.